paper folding can lead to many beautiful problems. This particular problem is from American Mathematical Contest and it asks us to find the ratio of two areas before and after we fold a rectangular piece of paper. Okay, let's get started with this problem. We start with a rectangle. It has a specific property. Its um, length is square root of three times its width. So it's like if the width is three, then the length is square root of three times square root of three. That's a given information in the problem. Uh, next, we will be dividing this rectangle in three equal pieces, and we will joining will be joining these two corners of or the diagonal of the middle rectangle. And let's give names to each of these points, so we can indicate what points we are working with. What we want to do is we will be folding this portion of the paper. So imagine this rectangle as a piece of paper. We will be folding this portion of the paper across this red line. And we want to find out the area of the new shape that is the one that we get after folding and the, ra the ratio of that with the ratio area of the actual rectangle. So a variety of ways of doing this and you can find beautiful solutions online. We are however more interested to visually fold the paper using the software's power and see what's going on. So this is the portion, this EGCB, this is the portion that we want to fold and we want to fold it across EG. So toward that end, let's start with the slider that will give us the angle let's call it t from 0 to pi and let's put the slider in white color maybe so we can we can now change the slider it, it will work as a variable so I initiated at t equal to 0 and uh, now we want to rotate this object which object is q2 object q2 is this red portion of the paper so let's call it q2 uh, by angle t t is initiated at 0 but it can go up to 180 degrees and the axis of rotation needs to be EG. The name of the segment is E in this particular case. Let's see. Okay, so we have the rotation defined, which is Q2 prime. And if we change this to from zero to if we go on up to 3.14. We see that nothing is happening. The reason is that we are in two-dimensional world and suddenly in two-dimensional world we cannot really revolve around a segment. So let's go to the three-dimensional world. Let's go to three-dimensional world, initiate some 3D graphics here and to make it more attractive what I'll do is I'll change the graphics color to background color to black let's make it a little bit more visually fun okay and we really don't need the uh, axis though we can have some fun with it but we don't need the axis so let me get rid of the axis of anyway and we have this beautiful looking rectangle with a portion of it that we want to fold okay now let's now use the slider you see that what's happening is this rectangle is folding and if I go all the way if I go all the way to 3.14 
that's the, that's pi that's approximately pi we get the rotated figure so if we look at this from beneath the figure we will get a better idea so this is the paper and it gets folded into this new position it's kind of fun because after folding you get this portion of the shape and this this particular part gets chopped off obviously it got folded here and now you can actually use a little bit of uh, a little bit of intuition to see that this particular triangle that I marked with one initial rectangle had six of these triangles so one two three four and if you chop this off into two parts you'll get six so maybe I can just join this segment and let's change the color to white this one so okay so one just equal to one we have one two three four five and six pieces now when we fold this portion we have we are left out with one two three four pieces so it takes a little bit of thought but you can work on this the purpose of this discussion is not really to help you find the solution you can do the solution on your own this this should give you an intuition but the beautiful part is this that if you look at this animation the folding of the paper immediately becomes very clear and um, this is something that you can play around with this particular technique that I showed you it works very nicely with GeoGebra. You can also use some programming language like PyCharm or Py, uh, I'm sorry, Python. Or uh, there is a module in Python called PyGame, which can easily do this kind of stuff. But GeoGebra is more rudimentary. The learning cur curve is smaller. So, link in the description will take you to more discussion on this problem. Paper folding is fun. Uh, do some more of it. Maybe use this particular method to fold some more papers across some more interesting curves uh, for today thank you and keep doing great mathematics